let's see one more question from laplace transform and today we will prove that laplace of shinch of at this is uh, pronounced something like this i feel if a different uh, please uh, do comment below how you pronounce it so laplace of shinch of at is a divided by s square minus a square so uh, let's first understand that uh, how we can write the, this expression uh, of uh, shinch of x so this is nothing but e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 so shinch of x is something like this so if we were to write the expression for shinch of at so that will be e power replace x by at so e power at minus e power minus at divided by 2 now take laplace transform laplace transform on both sides on both sides so we will get laplace of sinh of at will be equal to laplace of e power at minus e power minus at divided by 2 so what will happen first 1 by 2 will come out and now we can write this as laplace of e raised to power at and uh, minus of laplace of e raised to power minus at okay so half is out laplace of e raised to power at we all know is 1 upon s minus a direct formula i am using that laplace of e raised to power at we have derived this to be 1 upon s minus a you can also use definition from here write this as 0 to infinity e raised to power minus st into e raised to power at dt you can do that and you will end up getting this only so we are directly using this minus laplace of e raised to power minus at what happens just in place of minus you will get a plus so 1 upon s plus a okay so you will get 1 by 2 in denominator a minus b a plus b so a square minus b square this s plus a will come here minus of s and plus of a because of this minus sign so s gets cancelled you are left with 1 by 2 a 2a in numerator and s square minus a square in denominator so this 2 gets cancelled you are finally getting a divided by s square minus a square which we were required to prove so laplace of shinch of a t is nothing but a divided by s square minus a square I was telling initially that you would have written this as if you wanted to derive it a bit more in depth then you would have lit, written this as 0 to infinity e power minus st into the function is e power at dt and minus this would have you would have written as 0 to infinity e power minus st and then e power minus at dt then you would have done this that uh, you would have clubbed this two so e power uh, you would have written this as minus of s plus of a times t dt minus 0 to infinity e power uh, minus of common s plus a times t dt then you know that uh, the integration of e power a t is e power a t divided by a so this would, you would have written as e power 
माइनस एस प्लस ए टाइम्स टी डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस ऑफ एस प्लस ए फ्रॉम जीरो टू इंफिनिटी माइनस दिस यू वुड हैव रिटर्न एज ई पावर माइनस ऑफ एस प्लस ए टाइम्स टी डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस ऑफ एस प्लस ए फ्रॉम जीरो टू इंफिनिटी then what would have happened uh, that uh, you can take minus sign out from here so as to get uh, something special minus sign if you take out you will get s minus a times t divided by minus of s plus a this from 0 to infinity here you already have a minus sign out so no problem why i want that minus sign to be out is because e power when i put infinity here so e power minus infinity is 1 upon e power infinity which is anyway giving you zero so upper limit is zero in both the case so zero minus lower limit if you put zero here so e power zero is 1 so you are simply getting 1 upon minus s plus a this is the first minus from here again you are getting zero in first case and you, when you put the lower limit you will get uh, 1 upon minus of s plus a so on simplification you are getting if it, i take this minus side in side i am getting a minus s from here 1 upon a minus s from here and minus sign if you take this minus minus if you make plus 1 upon s plus a here okay so a plus s a minus s so this will become a square minus s square and you will get s plus a plus a minus s so s and s gets cancel you are getting 2a divided by a square minus s square some problem of a minus sign let's have a look at that once again so you are getting minus of s plus a from here okay uh and uh, minus of this thing from here okay minus of s plus a so minus minus plus and this minus sign will make it a minus s uh a minus s no when you take this minus side inside s will become positive a will become negative so s minus a from here so s minus a from here and a s plus a from here so things getting changed again you are getting the same thing as here uh, 1 upon s minus a let's check this once again so in denominator you will be getting s minus a s plus a and uh, you will get s plus a plus s minus a okay so you are getting a and a being cancelled again we'll have a close look upper limit gone zero lower limit so there will be a one minus sign upper limit minus lower limit so one minus sign will also come here so upper limit was zero minus the lower limit so this minus minus with ultimately get cancel so finally on a clear note you are getting one upon a minus uh, s minus a minus one upon s plus a so this is 1 upon s square minus a square s plus a minus s plus a so a upon s square minus a square is what you are getting uh this we did in order to clarify you that you would have approached this like this just a few problems in plus minus sign that was uh, all my fault you would have not done it that uh, wrong so let's look at this once again uh, the basic idea of sinh of x is uh, this can be written as e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 
so we can write this also then you use take laplace transform on both the side in order to get this answer you know already that laplace of e raised to power a t is 1 upon s minus a and that of e raised to power minus a t is 1 upon s plus a and then we arrive to the solution.